Why is it that Orthodox Jewish people always seem to be on their mobile phones? It's weird. I'm hoping that tomorrow, with the addition of a different microphone, my sound quality might be greatly improved. I'm also trying to record external sound with a, uh, with a recorder that is under my buttocks. That's right, my buttocks. My buns of steel, my gluteus maximi. Where I can press the record button by... by... Uh, by just sort of, just sort of squeezing my back hole. Anyway. So I've been watching a lot of videos about the flat earth. And, uh, <laughs> Flat Earth. How stupid. There's a not there's a, there's there's a weird thing about humans we we seem to want to know something that other people don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's like the world is flat. Don't even know where to start when someone says the earth is flat. How do you discuss something that someone is so wrong about to begin with that you can't even... I wouldn't know where to start. If someone came up and said, do you know the world is flat? Has anyone ever told me the world is flat? There is no curve. It's all a big conspiracy. NASA is part of the New World Order and uh, they're trying to convince us we're on a ball to keep us controlled. And there's a big ice, ice cliff around the outside of the Earth and no one's ever been over it and we're not allowed to go beyond and if you do you'll get shot and we don't know what's on the other side of the ice cliff it might just fall into nothing or it might be more world run by reptilians and lizards and aliens and, and demons and jesus is there and he's saying don't come here this is not heaven this is hell he's fighting the demons jesus is under the god where do you start if someone says the world is flat and they believe it First of all, I question whether they actually believe that, because um, it's it's so wrong, it's not even wrong. It's it's he's a crazy, it's a crazy that I can be crazy people. And secondly, if the world was flat and there's a big ice shelf around the outer edge, which is I'm assuming Antarctica. How do you get 24 hour sunlight in Antarctica if the world is flat? Because hmm. hmm. if the world is flat it means the sun has to be much closer than it is. And if the world is flat, it means everything has to be flat because why would this planet be any different to the others? So the others all have to be flat, so they've got to be disks. But all that means, all the other planets are disks that way, while we're that way. Hmm. Something doesn't add up. Apparently the horizon isn't really the horizon, it's just really far away. If you got a camera lens big enough, you could zoom in from where I live and see America, maybe. Except you wouldn't be able to because it's in the other direction. You could see uh, 
I don't know what country it would be. Uh, uh, just trying, to, trying to think of the shape of Europe. Poland? No. Scand Scandinavian. You can see Scand Scandinavia and Nor Norwegian. That's right. It's not very far away. And the world is flat, see, so it's just it's just out of just out of sight. That's the problem. It's not that it's over the curve, it's that it's too far away. Human artists can only see X amount of distance and because of the laws of perspective the horizon rises to eye level and therefore it looks like the Earth's curve except the horizon doesn't rise to eye level the horizon comes to eye level when you look at the horizon if you were to stand on a mountain and look wistfully to the west the horizon would not come up to meet you you would have to look slightly down at the horizon But no, I mean, I, I could be brought around, maybe the Earth is flat. It's not, though. Uh, maybe some people are just stupid. They want to believe. They want to believe. The truth is out there. There's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy of flatness. It's a plain conspiracy. Not an interesting conspiracy, a plain conspiracy. A conspiracy with no salt and pepper. Yeah. I like people that think like that. I don't like people that think like that. I like listening to people that think like that a little bit. Because they're so sure. It must be nice to have a worldview that you're so sure about. That'd be good. It's like climate change. There are some people who are so sure it's not real. It's just another conspiracy. It's just the New World Order and the Illuminati trying to control us. Which is weird because the people who would suffer were the world to move its economy away from fossil-based fuels would be the very same people that are accused of being the ones controlling us. Hmm. It's almost like you just want to believe something. Whether or not it, it it makes sense to your own... I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Shut up. <sighs> oh, Notre Dame Cathedral burned down. Yeah. It was just like that thing in the Disney film. You know what the problem was? It was the Archbishop. He fell in love with the Gypsy Girl. But... Uh, she didn't love him back. She loved the, the guy that lived upstairs with the who always had a backpack under his shirt. He was asking Jesus or God or Buddha. I don't know who these Christians by. Which way you go, mate? Good job. We were both in the wrong lane on the roundabout. And then he sang that song, like in that Disney documentary. Oh, fire, God's fire, be soon, you'll die in hell fire, and you will surely burn. That's a Disney film. Back when Disney were good, and they actually had animators. And The Hunchback of Notre Dame is one of the darkest, has some of the darkest moments in it. Ooh, 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 it's terrifying. For children, very adult themes as well. Disney used to tackle that sort of stuff. Still does, let's be honest. Disney films are great. Little Mermaid was good too. I remember that when I was about 12 years old. Oh my God, she was sexy. Even with the fish legs. Look at this place, isn't it neat? Da 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 feet. I'm just think of a girl, a girl who has everything. Oop. Well, the ones were there. Beauty and the Beast, that was a good one. Be our guest. 
be obvious. Put our service to the test. We'll provide the rest. My name is Gaston. I am a candlestick. I don't know if it's the same now, but when people of my age were young, Disney cartoons were the, were the bomb. I remember when Aladdin came out and the magic carpet was like, it looked computer animated in a weird sort of way. And then when he's flying on the magic carpet through the, through the cave of wonders and it's closing around him, there's lava, it was all computer animation in a cartoon. Oh, amazing, amazing. And when Toy Story came out, my gosh. I couldn't believe it. Hello, doggy. Toy Story was brilliant. Disney's was always good. Toy Story wasn't Disney, though, obviously. I know that. to go let it snow I wonder if my uh, butt microphone is picking up my crackles bangs just like the BFG used to whiz pop whiz bang feel the bubbles go down whiz pop whiz bang why is it that you only remember a few a couple of lines from songs you used to love as a child except Fresh Prince of Banana I want that one in West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maps in with snap, pulling out, shooting some people on outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, You move with your auntie and uncle from Billy. I pulled up to a house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cabin, You're home, smelly later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there. Sit on my throne as Prince Bader. Yeah. Anyway, don't know how good of a sound test this will be because I didn't shut up the entire way. <laughs> you screwed up again, Andy. You screwed up again. Staff parking only. But that's not me. I'm not a member of staff. Fucking man. I park where I want. I do what I want. Anyway. Ciao.